No longer want no Koviti, no one on the monotondua. My home, my Fiji, the place I cherish the most. Multicultures woven from coast to coast, consisting approximately of about 300 small isles. Brown skin, bushy hair, pearly white smiles. This is my culture, my identity, who I am. I wish I were there right now. Damn. But here I am in the land of the long white cloud, trying my best to become one with the Kiwi crowd. And so began the change, the change to fit in, changes that led to the disappearance of my natural Afro curls contrasted well on my dark chocolate skin. And as much as I love Michael Jackson, may he rest in peace, I use no such skin lightning bleach. And as for my hair, yes, there were chemicals involved, but also my knowledge of my tradition and culture has evolved. From a respectable perspective of a cultured PI to a perspective of I have rights kind of PI. This is where opinions begin to clash. I start to think deeply, slowly twirling my invisible mustache. Follow the tradition of my elders, passed on from generation to generation. Or realize my rights as a human and fight with such frustration. But to be honest, I don't think I want to fit in. Because if it means throwing away my respect for my culture and my elders, then it would be the worst of my failures. Failures to keep my culture and its tradition tattooed in my mind and in my heart. For it was my culture and its tradition that modeled me into who I am today, like fine art. And as I deliver this poem to you, I hope with all my heart that I have made a breakthrough. I hope you realize the good of keeping one's culture alive, because without it, you and your ancestors wouldn't have learned how to survive. This is your culture, your identity, who you are. Your land, your home, the place you cherish the most.